Previously on Lifeline. Hey, no! Street name's Skinny. You shoot him now, it's murder. I got over two and a half million in cash in each of these, man. You can't know the first thing I want to buy. It's my freedom, man. Connor Hooks. Uh, hi, Jasmine. If that's not your client, you know what floor I'm on. My name is Jack. I have your memories, Nora. Would you like them back? Jack just said to meet here at this exact time. He knows things about me. Did you just see that? Yeah. Did you? Eventually, we'll be facing out the file system, but... Morning. Good morning. What do you got for me? Connor, this is Eli, our new agent. Eli Connor. Eli will be shadowing you today. This is his first jump. Make sure it's not his last. You the guy with the record training score? Are you a guy who's never missed a save? Yeah. I am. Connor Hooks. Eli Gross. Let me know if you guys need a tape measure. Just trying to keep up. semester. Do you have inside information? And some pull. Get your application in. I will. Thank you. Look, I'm lead. If you observe, don't interact with anyone or anything unless I say so. Clear? Crystal. You are easy to work with, and you flatter me on a consistent basis. That alone makes you the most qualified for the job. Not to mention, your grandfather has funded... Following the rules to save our client? You were reckless in that lab, and you know it. I know that I valued our client's life over someone we don't know and weren't paid to save. We could have saved both of them. Maybe not. The kid was in bad shape. It would have taken me twice as long to pull him out of there by myself. Don't put in a jump with me again. Won't be a problem. I already told Nathan we're a bad fit. And you're welcome. For what? Keeping your safe streak alive. If the particle nexus isolation is in forward motion, I don't understand why. If the agent is in superposition, no. <laughs> Can't be that simple, can it? <laughs> yes. 
Yes. I have been working on a presentation I would like to show you. Um, I hope you can see the potential in it that I do. Are you ready? I'm ready. Go on. No. The, the jump box can absolutely muster the power needed for reverse time travel. I, I can engineer it. It may take a while, but I can definitely do it. Th this, this proves it. Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? You said it wasn't possible. It is possible. It's not possible because I don't allow it. Changing the past is a lot more complicated than changing the future. But what about all the failed saves? Every name on that board out there would be green. Look, the function of Lifeline is not to erase people's mistakes. It's to prevent them from happening in the first place. Yeah, but mistakes do happen, Nathan. Yes, and those who make them must learn, or else the whole world falls apart. Look, I'm not interested in second chances, and nor is Lifeline. And no more talk about jumping back in time. Are we clear? Yeah. Yeah, we're, uh, we're clear. Good. Scotch, meat. Poor form for a man asking a favor. What makes you think I'm asking for a favor? It's the only time I ever see you anymore is when you want something. At least since Haley died. I need you to put me in touch with the guy who helped you find the Jensen kid. The one you said has eyes and ears everywhere. Connor, you've been chasing this ghost for six years. Maybe it's time to let it go. I don't need any advice. Finding your ghost isn't gonna bring Haley back. Oh, it might help me sleep better. And it might get you killed. <sighs> Revenge is a funny thing, kid. I've never found the old saying to be true. Revenge is seldom sweet. Just help me find the guy. I don't want to ask for any more favors. Okay? Jasmine, I need to get into the parts storage, but my, my key card won't work. Uh, the magnetic strip is probably dead. Well, is there any way you could check? Yeah. You and Connor are close, right? As close as anyone could be to Connor. Has he seen anyone since his wife died? You mean, like, dated? Does he have anyone? Look, there's heartbreak down that road. What road? Relationships are hard for Connor. Because of her? Because, because time moves differently for him. He can experience a year in a matter of weeks. For him, it's only been six months since he was married. That's odd. What? The storage is level three clearance, but you're a two. No, no, something must be wrong. I, I'm, I'm a level four. Mm, not anymore. Nathan downgraded you. <sighs> that spiteful son of a bitch. Thank you. Jay, what's going on? You saw a guy teleporting into an alley. Jack says the next step is to just distract them after they appear, right? Like. Delay them, just for five minutes. Not let them go anywhere. Delay them from what? I don't know. Okay, there is no such thing as teleporting, Nora. 
This is crazy. Are you sure you weren't high? Yes. Tom, I saw it too. If Mad Dog says it happened, then it happened. Okay, ew, do not ever call me that again. Do you understand? Look, I just need your help, okay? Just help me stop one of these teleporters. Are you kidding me? This is crazy. Right? Even if there was such thing as teleporting, which there is not. Tom, I saw it. It was real. Wait, trick mirrors. They could do all kinds of shit with mirrors. What kind of shit can they do with mirrors? I don't know. All kinds of shit. You're not even listening to me. Nora, whoever these guys are, okay? However they're doing it, these are not the type of guys you want to mess with. Yeah, they could be government spies. This Jack guy mm -hmm. could be setting you up. Okay, these guys could be dangerous. So please promise me you won't do anything alone. Okay, yes, sure. Good. That your report on the rookie? Yeah. What an ass. Isn't that part of the job description? <laughs> what are you doing here so late? I was gonna ask you the same thing. Let me buy you a drink. You know what? I got a better idea. Scottish region. Oh. So, like, no one else is there in the office. And the guy looks at me and he goes, are you the person that saved my son? And I can't tell him what we do, so I just go, yes, it was me. <laughs> and he hugs me, and for a day I was a hero. <laughs> be such a rush to be saving people all the time. That's never one that mattered. That wasn't your fault. Who knows? I went there to save her, and I distracted her for a tiny moment. I distracted her, and she died. That caused her lifeline to go right. I went to that garage, and I distracted her, she died. I went to that garage. I distracted her. Just on and on. It just not stop. Do you ever go easy on yourself? Sorry, this place is a mess. I didn't really think that I was gonna happen. This couch is kind of small. How's your bed? It's big. I'd like to see it. Big day. Yeah. I wonder what Nathan's been up to. He revoked Jay's level four access. He's scared. Or he knows too much or something. You want breakfast? No, let's just grab a bagel on the way to work or something. Stay in bed a little longer. That's my man. <laughs> Hello? You in or not? How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't. The agent you've been tasked to detain arrives in one hour. Be there. And what if I'm not? You'll never hear from me again. 
which would be such a shame. We've just getting to know each other, and there's so much more for you to learn. Shit. What are you doing? Uh, hey. Just going out for a walk. Will you get some beer? Yeah, I'll bring you back some beer. See you later. Question? You picked the wrong person to rob, little girl. I don't want your money. The guy's name's Reginald Blake. He used to go by a street named Skinny. He was a low-level enforcer for some Russian. And then he disappeared six years ago. All right, so what's it to you? He killed my wife. Murder, revenge. It's a messy business. And expensive. I don't care about money. Yeah, see, that's when it's expensive. Look, um, I've been doing this kind of thing a while now. And they're finding this guy, you know. It's not gonna bring any closure. I don't really need your fucking advice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, what are you gonna do when you find him? Kill him. Well, unfortunately, uh, that won't bring much comfort either. Can you find him for me or not? Yeah, I can find him. Will you? I'll be in touch. Come on in, Harry. Why, well, I had uh, one doozy of a conversation this afternoon. About getting my ID fixed, I hope. Nope. Well, Harry, um... It's not about my ID. I don't really give a damn who you've been talking to, man. Thank you, Mike. Guy's name is Connor Hooks. Who the hell is Connor Hooks, man? Guy whose wife you shot and killed six years ago. He's looking for you. Does he know you know me? No. Pure coincidence. What the fuck are we gonna do, Eric? There's nothing to do. I mean, he doesn't even know you're still in town. You could be in Antarctica for all he knows. No, he, he's at a dead end. We just keep him there. Until I run into him at a gas station or a restaurant. No, it hasn't happened in six years, right? Besides, uh, he actually might not even recognize you if it did. <laughs> He'd know me. Just keep your eyes focused forward, all right? You're not going to get anywhere looking back. It's hard not to look back when you hear footsteps behind you here. Just fine. Let's make history.
Nathan buried Haley's murder investigation. I'm just digging it up ever since. You find anything? A lot of dead ends. That's six years of dead ends. That's a long time. Yeah. You're still so in love with her. Sorry, I didn't mean. To... I'm sorry, Connor. If you're still there, I can't be here. Jump window opens in half an hour. Great. You'll be jumping with Eli. Whoa. That's a mistake. Nathan's orders. But you told him that we're not jumping together again. He said, I am a rookie, and I don't get to decide who I partner with. Great. I'll tell him. Or he could just let me take it myself. No, I... We both know I don't need another observation jump. Yes, but if anything goes wrong, then that's on. I gotta take this. Hold on. That was quick. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, you know, good at what I do. What do you got? Nah, uh, not on the phone. Can you be at Corky's in an hour? One hour. Will you tell Nathan I had an emergency? I don't want to lie for you. It's not a lie. for me. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want to talk. I was just protecting my boss that night. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I got a wife. I got a kid. doesn't have to end badly. I, I could barely see who I was shooting at. Her name was Haley. Lifeline. He said he'll give me $10,000. What would a candidate need to do to prove absolute loyalty? Are you gonna tell me what's going on or are you gonna keep up with this bullshit? 10.43 p.m., Pendragon Tower, top floor. You gonna stay? It was the last time you're ever gonna hear my voice. Well, I appreciate you clearing that up. Safe travels.